Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this. A B plus A equals thirty two. This is our equation one. A B plus B equals thirty five. And this becomes our equation two. By the way, we can just eliminate, we can use elimination method already because we have AB and AB here. And when the signs are the same, we can subtract. So that AB minus AB will give zero. Plus A minus B is not possible, right? A minus B. And it's equal to 32 minus 35. And that will give us minus 3, right? So A minus B is equal to minus 3. And then from here, we, we can um, make A the subject. So that A will be equal to minus 3 plus B. And this equally means that our A is equal to B minus 3. So this becomes our equation 3. Now pull this equation 3 into equation 2, which is AB plus B equals 35, right? Now our A is B minus 3, so I'll write B minus 3. Then B is also there, plus B equals 35 now b times b b squared minus b times 3 um 3b okay so we have 3b and then plus b equals 35 we have b squared minus 2b equals 35 right because minus 3b plus b will give minus 2b now from here we have b squared minus 2b minus 35. This comes here to become minus 35, right? So we write 35 here and this is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation and we can decide to solve this using any of the method, right? Now can we factorize this? Let's think it. 35, the factors of 35 are um, 7 and 5, so 7 times 5 will give us 35. And then, minus 7 plus 5, minus 7 plus 5 will give us minus 2, right? So that means, um, minus 7 and 5 are the two numbers we'll use. Now, this means that we're having B minus 7 as one of the factors. Then the second factor will be b plus 5. And this is equal to 0. To continue with this, we are going to have b minus 7 to be equal to 0. Or b plus 7 to be equal to 0. Okay, b minus 7 equal to 0. Or b plus 5. Sorry, this is 5. b plus 5 to be equal to 0. So B here is equal to 0 plus 7, or B is equal to 0 minus 5. B is equal to 7, or B is equal to minus 5. B equals 7 or minus 5. So we have our value of B. But then remember that this is a simultaneous equation and we have two unknowns, A and B. So to get A, we are going to consider two, two conditions, okay? So when B is equal to 7 and when B is equal to minus 5, right? But remember our equation 3, let's take a look at equation 3 again. Equation 3, it is A equal to B minus 3. Our equation 3 is A equal to B minus 3. Yes. And now, our B is 7. So this means that A is equal to 7 minus 3. 
and our a is equal to 4. So this means that x equals, not x, is um, a, a equals 4, and b equals 7. Now, these are the values. Then, when b is equal to minus 5, so this means that we'll be having, um, we'll be having um, a to be equal to minus 5 minus 3 because b is minus 5. Now from here a is equal to minus 8. Therefore a equals minus 8 and b equals minus 5. Okay now we're going to confirm this um, pair of we're going to confirm this pair of um, values right now let's go okay so these are the values of um, a and b but now let's consider equation one it is a b plus a equals 32. now from here i'm going to put the first value which is a equals 4 and b equals um, 7. So in that case, we'll be having 4 multiplied by 7, then plus a is still 4, right? Now, what will this be giving us? From here, we're going to have um, 4 times 7 is what? 4 times 7 is 28, right? So we write 28 over there, then plus 4 and 28 plus 4 is giving us 32 so this is to confirm that our a to be 4 and b 7 is satisfying i mean it is satisfying our equation 1 because remember this is um our equation 1 now let's put in the second value which is a equals minus 8 and b equals minus 5 so we have in minus 8 multiply by b is minus 5 so write minus 5 over there then plus open bracket our a is now minus 8 right now let's see if this is going to give us 32 now minus 5 times minus 8 here is going to give us 40 then we are going to have um plus and minus will give us minus 8 and 40 minus 8 is 32 so this is also to confirm that the two um pairs are correct a to be equal to um 4 b to be equal to 7 and a to be equal to minus 8 and b to be equal to minus 5 are uh, both satisfying the equation here is it thank you for watching